remember Rabbi Meyer telling us that the Kola was coming to town and he had strongly recommended as many people as they could go to the airport. I've always felt that the Kola was an important part of the community. So from day one that the Kola was here, I was encouraging for all those who are part of the community or who were part of the community at the time to support and be encouraging of the Kola's arrival. To date, more than 1,000 Denver area Jews have participated in any number of cost-free Kolel outreach programs. Perhaps the most successful Kolel outreach program is Partners in Torah, a weekly meeting of the minds. Such an amazing thing to have an elite um, educational institution in this city. Whether it's on the east side of town, whether it's on the southeast side of town, whether it's in, in Boulder or other areas in the Denver metro area, we've been giving classes and bringing all sorts of ki different kinds of Torah school study programs to all over. I first got involved in the Kolel not too long after it came to Denver. It had a number of programs then. It's exponentially increased over that time, reaching far greater numbers of Jews and getting them more involved in their Torah study. Each Sunday morning, dozens of men gather at the East Denver Orthodox Synagogue to share breakfast, Jewish philosophy, and love of Torah with the Kolel scholars. Then we have the Jewish Women's Renaissance Project, offering women a chance to travel the world while they learn and grow with Torah. The Kolel's annual holiday celebration is a real friend raiser, a chance to make new friends and be together with those in the community you might not see every day. The Kolel has reached out to so many different people on so many different levels, using their uh, scholarship uh, and their hearts Many members of the Jewish community at large in Denver have had learning experiences that they could not possibly have otherwise been exposed to. Kolel has broadened my horizons, has allowed me to bring Jewish law, Jewish traditions back into my life. It's a place for everyone in the community to feel that this is to feel at home in and to feel that this is their place that they can be comfortable coming in. To me, the Kolel, I would say, is probably the number one factor for Denver Jewish community success today. Starting off when I came 10 years ago, and we had maybe one or two people, three people at a night seder. Now we have, on a given night, we could have, you know, 50, 20, and they, they've not only grown in numbers, but they've grown in their, their learning. The Kohl represents our desire to live a Torah-inspired Jewish life, and it models the example of what it means to be a Torah Jew. What has been achieved so far has been exciting, but we're not done. We're moving forward. Brings it back only as much as it back. Brings it back. It would not be an exaggeration to say that Kolel has succeeded beyond the wildest expectations of the founders.